Amazing Ampharos here, and I'm continuing with Child of Light, where I'm about to take on the very dangerous three-headed serpent monster. And as you can see, my average levels are not the highest, but I have some good skill growth, and what I think are some really nice oculi. Now, you will notice that I actually used a couple of Stardust and crafted some oculi off-stream. It's because I realized I needed to adjust for this boss before the boss right before the fight, and due to this game's really horrible autosave system that results in some stuff getting lost, because it automatically saves that I did that even though I lost the fight. Yeah, I know, there really should just be no autosaves at all in any game, honestly. I like save whenever, save in a menu when I choose whenever. I really think I'm the only one who feels this way. But the strategy for this fight is pretty straightforward, but that's not to say this fight is easy at all. Rubella is, and Finn are going to be my two main frontline characters. Rubella is going to run Interruption, while Finn tries to kill the Firehead as quickly as he possibly can. And that did not go well at all. If he'd chosen to attack on the first turn, that would have worked. But instead, we're in a lot of trouble. But I've already dealt two hits to that head, so I'm actually going to switch and start attacking the Earth Head instead. And the Earth Head should be weak to fire. That'll be another nice beefy interrupt. And that was a lot of damage we just took, so I'm going to start healing up. And that was really terrible execution on my part. I wasted a lot of charge on Ignicolas. Hopefully it won't come back to bite me. Okay, I just want to trigger it real gently and get out of there. I'll hold back the fire head while I unleash another wildfire at this guy. While Rubella is actually going to heal herself while she has a free chance. And down goes head one. And of course this fight gets easier and easier every head that goes down. And that crit really was unfortunate, but I think I can come back from this. Well, I am water at the fire head, and that's going to be a nice center up for me, too. And that should be the last health that he needs. And he's not going to get a cast off, so I might as well protect him. Again, the story hasn't really changed. Well, in that case, I suppose he could have, but I had no way of knowing that was going to be possible. That was a very good paralysis, and this will be the last cast he's able to do, so hopefully this will count. Let's just knock him back. Always makes things better to do that. And that counter heal is really fantastic. Though Finn has basically done his job. 
but since he's able going to survive either way, I'm going to defend so any hits go against his HP before I bring Aurora out. Now it's time to uh, rain some starlight on these guys. This doesn't hit a weakness, but Aurora is really strong anyway. So hopefully it won't matter too much. An interrupt and a paralysis is fantastic luck. And this should, this guy should be about ready to go down. Hopefully Aurora will kill him with this strike. Not quite. Now we're pretty hurt. And I'm going to prioritize healing Rubella here. Because if Rubella goes down, I lose. Whereas if Aurora goes down, I have ways to bring this fight back. Another very lucky paralysis. That was unfortunate. Not completely wasted though, because I did get a nice full health Rubella out of it. And just in time for things to start looking a little ugly, my flowers come back. This fight should be won now. Because I can use this one to heal the girls just enough so I don't have to be so scared anymore. And Firehead should be just about ready to go down. And once Firehead's down, everything should be pretty formulaic. Yep, there goes Firehead. Now, my main thought has to be just to get as many of those nice interrupts as I can. Which, all this paralysis is certainly not hurting. I'm getting lucky late in the fight when it doesn't really matter. But, no complaints. Well, that was painful. Unfortunately, since my characters are both all MP tapped, all I can really do is just hack away. Which just got that much slower because now I'm going to have to use Finn to do that. Things are actually progressing pretty smoothly. He'll probably die before Rubella runs out of health. And the important thing about that is, is that as long as anyone's alive at the end of the fight, I win and everyone gets experience no matter what. heal and a plant back. Rubella is really good at this point in the game if you haven't picked up on that. I'm not even that upset that the other two are dead honestly because she was basically soloing the fight anyway. 
I think maxing her health is going to help me more than slowing the boss down. She's not going to get that off, so let's just defend. And there we go, boss down. Thanks to the might of Rubella. Everyone gains a level. And completing this means that the Capella Village is restored and Finn is now permanently in my party. Now, there's never going to be another boss fight where Finn does as much good work for me as he did in this one. But, it's still nice to have him around, because as you saw, I can cycle characters freely in the middle of battle. So the larger my party, really just the more capable my party. I can just use characters until they're spent, and once they're done, I can just replace them with someone else. And even if they're dead at the end of the fight, it doesn't really set me back at all, actually. And there's a vision of Aurora's father, who's completely heartbroken at her apparent death. So, this little side quest not only got us a party member, but did develop the main plot. And we can pick up a couple side quests while we're here. First off, Finn's grandfather needs our help clearing out some uh, monsters by his house. We're actually going to wait to do this side quest until we have a couple more characters. Because... Experience is distributed evenly among the whole party, and there are no mandatory fights between now and when we get the next major party member who's going to be very important to the rest of the game. So now we've picked up these couple side quests, and I'm going to spend those points I just got from leveling.
one more level for Rubella, and she's going to upgrade Tumble, which is a very large damage upgrade, actually. Well, Finn gets some strength that is of incredibly dubious utility for him. So apparently the Capelli age very rapidly and Finn is actually only 13 years old and just got thrown out of his house by his grandpa on account of him being a coward. But either way, this next area is going to lead us toward the next town and it's a very long trip so I'm going to break segment and I'll be back with you guys next time.